Hey everyone, we are Bean and Bagel. We are a married couple from the Midwest. I'm from Michigan. She's from Minnesota. Together mm -hmm. we are Minnesanders because there's Minnesotans <laughs> and Michiganders. <laughs> and we review food if you've never joined our channel before. We upload about one to two times a week if you're interested in following the channel. We're glad to have you. Today we are talking about Toby's, which is a pretty popular bakery and restaurant in Minnesota. Uh, the locals are always stopping there apparently from what I hear. Mm -hmm. For many many years they've been going there from what I hear. <laughs> and we go there occasionally when we head up north to northern Minnesota when we go camping or whatever we're doing, seeing family. As many of you are probably familiar with road trips, you cram in all your loved ones, cram in all of your belongings, you go somewhere that you've either been before or never been and you're already tired before you even get there because you stuff your car full of all your stuff <laughs> and you have your dog or your cat if you bring your cat um, and Toby's is the kind of place that you would stop you know when you're heading north or south depending on where you are in Minnesota it's been one of those type places to the locals there. And so we stopped, we got some of their baked goods and shared them back and forth and mm -hmm. almost shared them with our dog. Chose <laughs> not to because you never know what's gonna happen with an animal's stomach on a road trip <laughs> and you don't wanna stop and handle that mess. <laughs> so Hope actually grew up in Minnesota. Like I said, that's what I meant when I said she's from Minnesota. <laughs> and she has a lot more memories of it that she's gonna share. So I'll pass it off to her to share some of those little memories that you have. Yep, so like Greg said, my family was definitely one of the families that was stopping at Toby's. Uh, Toby's has a big travel plaza and um, they have gas, they have coffee, they have a restaurant, and they have their bakery, which their bakery is probably what they're most well known for. But we would stop because uh, Hinkley, where Toby's is located, is about halfway between the Twin Cities metro area and Duluth, Minnesota. And we have family in the Duluth area. So that would be a place that we would frequently stop on our way up. And I think it was my dad that uh, would always convince us that we needed to stop for a caramel roll. He would be like, you know, we need to get gas anyways, let's stop at Toby's. And there was usually never any complaints. So one of the things that I believe my dad uh, liked to get the most was a caramel pecan roll. So we did try this one. And the caramel pecan roll is just huge. It's ginormous. It is like a huge pillowy soft dough with uh, caramel sauce on it and it has a nice buttery like homemade taste to the caramel and I really like the pecan flavor that it adds in addition to the crunch so yeah that was the caramel pecan roll. The next one that we got is the traditional original caramel roll that Toby's is well known for. Um, be prepared to bring wet naps, napkins, a fork, maybe a knife to the show because it's a pretty sticky, messy event when uh, you have one of these things. But it's very similar to what Hope said about the one that has pecans on it. Uh, you know, pillowy, soft, all those kind of things. So that was the second one that we had. And the third one that we had is the frosted fried cinnamon roll. And this is basically like if you crossed a cinnamon roll with a traditional donut and they had a baby, it would be this. Um, so it's really the best of both worlds of a cinnamon roll and a donut. There's a ton of cinnamon flavor throughout. And then it's got that fried taste of a donut with the icing on it. So we decided to rank these three items and we both agreed on the ranking order here. So in our third place spot, we have the uh, traditional caramel roll. Uh, not because it's bad or anything, but it's just more plain. And uh, you know, we just thought the other two were better, so. In second place, we have the caramel pecan roll. 
or the caramel pecan roll, depending <laughs> on the person. Um, I wish they served that uh, during communion at church <laughs> because it's soft, it's easy to pull apart, it just seems like it would bring people together and bring joy and happiness. <laughs> I think God would approve of it because someone was inspired to make it, but it's amazing. <laughs> So uh, that was our second place uh, item. Yep, and then in first place, we have the frosted and fried cinnamon roll. Uh, it was just everything that you would want, and it is a little bit easier to eat when you're on the road like we were. It's not quite as messy and gooey and sticky, so it was a little bit easier to eat, and we just love the flavor. Yeah, one thing I would add is that the frosting on it reminded me of the texture that's on cake frosting. So if you're into that, you might like that. And the cinnamon, it stands apart even though it's got frosting on it. So it's not like some baked goods that you get where there's frosting on it, but you can't taste the ingredients that are actually in the baked good. The cinnamon stands on its own even though there's frosting on it. So that's great. Yeah. So that is our video for today. We appreciate you guys watching. Let us know if you've ever been to Toby's and what you like to get there. But that's all for today, so we'll see you next time. Bye! Later! <laughs>